Hey everybody, so this is part three of the Aruba Tac Axe series, Aruba Clear Pass. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to continue setting up a switch. So we saw the demo of the switch, this switch right here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to configure this switch over here. So let's open that up. So this switch is not configured. Let's see, enable, right? Everything just goes right into enable, show run. So there's no configuration as far as tack ax or anything like that. So we will have to set all of that up. Uh, let's see if SSH is working to that one. Don't know if I set up SSH yet. And let's do a show IP interface brief. So we're going to use this, the VLAN 7, because that's what's going across here. So 192.168. So let's do tack X. Well, it doesn't really matter. Root. Uh, it doesn't matter. 7.2 and I did it from the access switch because I'm still connected. Let's exit out of there. SSH root at 192.168.7.2. Okay, so that's not running right now. So let's make sure we've done all of that. Uh, transport, let's see. Show run. Let's do a show run. Just check what we have. So the client algorithm set up. The VTI, VTY lines are transport input locked down to SSH. So we probably have to just let's create a key. So key generate RSA. We have to do the domain name first, of course. I uh, will call this uh, which twenty dot test eve dot lab. Okay, now we should be able to create that. Let's do SSH time out sixty. Yeah, we have to let's generate some better keys. Yep. Two thousand forty eight. IP SSH timeout 60 IP SSH authentication retries. So what do we want to do for that? It's two. Okay. Um, let's just try this real quick. There we go. Yep. We're up. Root. It doesn't have one, right? So but we know SSH is working, so that's good. Okay, first step done. SSH. Now let's configure this. Let's configure the policy over on ClearPass for this new server 192.168.7.2. All right. So we're not going to use this. I'm going to turn this one off. This one is the one that was already created. So let's do a, let's add. And the type is going to be tack axe. Let's find tack axe enforcement. And we'll call this Cisco VIOS. I don't know what the capitalization is for that. 
15.2. So that, this will just be for that. So um, looks good. Match any, click to add. And what we're going to do is device name, no. Let's see, what do we want to do? We want So we want to do Okay, so we want connection. And we want to use the IP address of this. Okay, so that's what we're going to match the IP address. So this is the the operator is going to be equals and the value will be 192.168.7.2. Okay, that's saved. So let's go to authentication. So our authentication sources, we're going to pick one. We can use the AD one. We want to, though, let's start out with the local local user repository. We're going to start off with that. Roles. So we got a role mapping policy. We're not going to do anything there. So enforcement. So here we can pick a policy, but we will create one. So what we'll do is we'll create a new one. So let's add a new enforcement policy. So the name of that enforcement policy, let's call this one Cisco BIOS. This is TACAX, which is right. Default profile we're going to set that to deny because we do not want it to allow by default, obviously. Ro rules. Let's go with the rules. Add rule. I'm going to do the tips rule. Then the role, tips role. So this is tips was the old name for clear pass. I forget what it stands for. I'll look that up. So the role matches any. And we're going to find a role name and we're going to do tack axe. So we're going to go tack axe super admin. So that's what our, our user is going to be mapped to. All right, so save that. Oh, the, we need the enforcement profile. So for that, we can use this TACAX Cisco Priv 15. We could also create a new one if we want, but that should be good. So we'll use that and save it. Okay. So remember that that rule, that profile, let's look at that one. That's the profile here. No, let's not do that. Let's save it. At this point, save that. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to change this now to the right here. So there it is. It's going to match that rule. Well, let's finish this before we get into the what the profile is. Let's go to summary. And that gives us a nice summary of what we're doing. We set up Vios. And that's that service has not been saved. So let's save this service. Okay, so there it is at the bottom. So these are, these go in order. So they'll check each one that's actually on. So let's reorder this one. Uh, let's grab this one. And let's see, how do we do this? First click on the service. Boom. Click on that. Move to first. Yep. So we're going to put it in the first position. Save. So it'll check ours. It won't, if it doesn't match that IP address, it'll skip down to the next one. Okay. So let's just check now our policy. We created a new policy, Cisco VIOS for the virtual iOS. And this one is the default profile, deny, and it matches. We'll hit 15. Let's look at the profile. Profile down here. Cisco priv 15 just gives it shell, add, and that's it. Just gives 15 privilege level. You can change that to whatever you'd like, minimum, normal. You can change, you can have it very granular here. Uh, commands. And this enable to permit unmatched commands allows it to, you don't have to specify which commands are allowed. You could do that too, down here. You could deny a certain command based on this. Okay, so now that that's done, let's add the device in here. So we have to also add the device. So if we go down to network, um, right now, Cisco switch one, we have 10.150.5.0, right? Uh, what did I call this switch? I don't recall. Let's go back in there. Show run, include domain. Switch 20. So we'll call this switch 20 just, just for to keep it consistent. So add name switch 20. So 192.168.7.2, that's the address it's gonna be coming from. Switch 20, so the radius shared secret, we don't need that right now. We're gonna need that if we do dot one X. So I'll just do Cisco one two three all lowercase Cisco one two three and we're gonna give it the vendor name. So the vendor name here would be Cisco. Should give us some options. Not sick Cisco. There we go. And we don't need that because we're not using radius right now. We will be. We'll check that. All right. Add add that. And then that is the configuration on this side. So what we have to do next is we'll configure the switch side and then test it. So thank you for watching and please join me in the next video.